We are facing exponential technological change and it's only just the beginning. If you're a musician, publisher or car maker, you know this too well. Sector after sector, industry after industry, we're waking up to the fact that the future is already here. We just haven't noticed. Think about that if you're a banker, a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant or a marketer. Your career may soon be impacted or simply be over. If your profession is built on routine, it will be automated. So before you choose a career, make sure it has a shelf life. 50% of our jobs will be automated within the next 10 to 15 years. But the good news is that the vast majority of new jobs hasn't even been invented yet. Anything that cannot be digitized or automated or otherwise done by robots will become extremely valuable. Human-only work is our future. What I call the mega shifts, such as datafication, automation, cognification and robotization, will bring us magical new possibilities. But some of them are also making us manic or lead to toxic side effects. If you're spending more time communicating with screens than with human beings, maybe now is a good time to check back in with Team Human. Soon that screen you'll love so much will be a bot that will sound and feel very much like a friend, your friend, making it even harder to turn off. Are you already overconnected or digitally obese? Has big tech made you a happier person or just a busier one? For all the magical algorithms that are changing our lives at every turn, there needs to be a human equivalent, what I call the androrhythms, the things that actually make us human. Compassion, ethics, mystery, design, morals and values. You know, the most important things in life cannot really be expressed in zeros and ones, and human thinking isn't really computable, or is it? But within a decade or even sooner, we will reach the so-called singularity, the point in time when machines will equal and then surpass humans in brain power. By the time that happens, it may be too late to retain what actually made us human and to protect our humanity. Brain-computer interfaces, nanobots in our bloodstream, microchip implants and soon human genome editing. Maybe we are the last unaltered generation of humans to inhabit this planet. Will it be possible to remain human as we currently define it? Will we be better off in a machine-led era without any human free will, beliefs, mistakes or inefficiencies? What would it mean for humanity to cohabit with an intelligence far greater than ours? How could we cope with our newfound irrelevance? Whatever challenges we face now with technology are nothing compared to what's coming down the pipe. Forget about emails and apps. There's a whole tsunami of voice and thought controlled technologies already leaving Santa Claus's factory. You may have not written to him, but he knows your address. Technology is not good or bad, per se, it just is, until we apply it, of course. Silicon Valley has spent the last decade on building platforms whose end game is digital addiction and utter dependency. Maybe now is a good time to have a conversation about digital ethics. Or should we wait until luxuries such as mystery free will and unrecorded thoughts are a distant memory? Technology is not our enemy. Technology is a useful servant, but it could also become a terrible master. Technology is a tool to be employed, not a purpose to employ us. How much of your humanness are you willing to surrender in order to tap into the convenience of those magical machines? The more we robotize our world, the less we govern ourselves. How much would you agree to be optimized, upgraded, and made infinitely more powerful and efficient? Would you rather be wired than fired? Are we destined to just merge with technology, to become one with the machines? The future is no longer just a time to come, it's more like a state of mind. 
Never in human history has the present been so temporary. Humanity will change more in the next 20 years than the previous 300 years. It is now imperative to remember that technology is not what we seek, but how we seek. Let's embrace technology, but not become it. Because the future is much too important to be left to algorithms and intelligent machines. Let's define our own future before it gets decided by mission control. Mm -hmm.